25 best PS3 racing games. Number 25, F1 2010. F1 2010 does a good job of recreating the excitement and action of driving a Formula 1 car. Clearly, there is still room for improvement, but despite its occasional quirks, F1 2010 is a game that any fan of Formula 1 or simulation racing would do well to take for a spin. Number 24, Grid 2. This is a game that wants you to experience the thrill of breakneck street racing and gives you all the tools necessary to do just that. With terrific handling, gorgeous environments, and a broad selection of event types, Grid 2 slams on the gas and rarely slows down. Number 23, F1 2011. F1 2011 is a great sequel which captures the fragility of an F1 car for the first time and features significant improvements over its predecessor. Its extremely steep learning curve will frustrate many novice racers but will delight serious F1 fans. Number 22, Blur. If you love a more hardcore racing experience and the idea of a truly chaotic combat sounds appealing, then Blur might be for you. If you're looking for a fun pick up and play combat racer, then I think you need to go back to Mario Kart or better yet, pick up the excellent Speed Second. Number 21, Midnight Club, Los Angeles. The cars handle fantastically, the city is nearly perfect, the GPS stuff is awesome, and customizing your ride is great. It is way too hard, however, even right from the start. Fans of street racing, and especially the Midnight Club series in general, will find a lot to like here, but not expect an easy time on the streets. Number 20, Gran Turismo 6. When you are one of Gran Turismo 6's absolutely gorgeous tracks, fused with the car you're controlling, attacking apexes with confidence and devouring sectors with steely precision, it's not hard to see why this series is deservedly regarded as one of the best of its kind. And this one is no exception. Number 19, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. Beyond its obvious appeal to Sega fans, this is a rich, bold, and substantial arcade racer that demands your attention. It might not be quite as finely tuned as Mario Kart, but it's a good deal, more ambitious and different enough that it deserves a place alongside it in your gaming library. MotorStorm. The limited number of tracks and gameplay options hold it back quite a bit, but the fundamental racing is incredible. The variety in vehicle types is great, the track designs are awesome, and the online is extremely fun. As an over-the-top, gorgeous to look at racer, MotorStorm is absolutely a success. Number 17, Pure. Pure isn't the most original game out there, yet it might have been nice to see it built on the trick system in SSX instead of just copying it. But nonetheless, its focus on tricks, boosting, and larger than life jumps over gorgeous environments pays off. This is an exciting racing game that seriously delivers on its promise of high speed 
I urgently action. Number 16, Motor Store Pacific Rift. The track design is its greatest success. The intricacy and variety of the courses will keep you coming back to explore the possibilities and test your spirit. Aside from a few remaining criticisms, Motor Store Pacific Rift is a notable improvement over the original and a blast to play. Number 15, Mod Nation Racers. Mod Nation Racers boasts some of the most impressive creation tools yet seen on a console. The single player career can be difficult, and the long load times quickly become a buy. But Mod Nation Racers succeeds in providing outstanding online sharing facilities and great multiplayer fun. Number 14, Dirt. On every other front, Dirt delivers a racing experience that's a lot of fun to play and visuals that are such a joy to watch that you can't even bring yourself to forgive the shoddy frame rate. All around, Dirt is a class act and it belongs in any racing fan's library. Number 13, Need for Speed Shift. Need for Speed Shift is a glorious return to the greatness for EA's similar racing franchise and has delivered a driving experience that is practically dead on in terms of what it's like to race around some of the world's best racing circuits. The career mode could have been a little better, but the act of driving is basically phenomenal. Number 12, Split Second. In the end though, Split Second has so much going for it that it's easy to recommend for kart and arcade racing fans alike. Even if racing games aren't typically your thing, Split Second offers enough action and fun to recommend to everyone. Number 11, Gran Turismo 5. If you've ever fantasized about a Ferrari, Gran Turismo 5 is a game that you're sure to get a lot out of. It's unfortunate that much of what makes Gran Turismo 5 so great is under the hood rather than on display for everyone to see, but a powerful engine trumps a perfect paint job every time. Number 10, Diet. There are few times when Diet's abstract presentation is so overwhelming that you don't feel in control of your own destiny. But by and large, this unique game keeps you invested. It's a great mix of comfort and excitement, making it easy to lose yourself in the barrage of sound and energy. For speed, most wanted, a criterion game. As with all sandbox games, that narrative is of your making, but this is even more true of most wanted. It's the racing game for people who don't tend to like racing games. You're not punished for missing that apex or abandoning that nagging racing line. It's undoubtedly one of the most exhilarating experiences. Number eight. Grid. There are plenty of other racing games on the market, but Grid captures the soul of the track like none other. Although its car count is low, customization is limited and the repetitive dialogue grades a bit. Grid stands out as a stylish but serious alternative to both hardcore driving simulations and over-the-top arcade racers.
Number 7. Joe Danger In a lot of ways, Joe Danger feels like it was made by Nintendo. It will constantly surprise and delight you in the way the best first party Nintendo games do. It's got bright cartoon visuals and the level design encourages return visits to look for all the hidden stars and coins. Number 6. Dirt 2 Dirt 2 is prettier than its predecessor, has more varied tracks and a functional multiplayer offering. The vast majority of racing fans are going to love what Dirt 2 has to offer, but there will be a few who long for the days when a hill climb was considered the ultimate racing experience. Number 5. Wipeout HD Wipeout HD is a compilation of PSP games running in high definition and it looks considerably better for the visual upgrade. The game is immensely polished from start to finish, the controls feel fantastic, and really, it's the best wipe out game in a long long time. Do not miss this one. Number 4. Dirt 3. Dirt 3 improves and builds upon its super predecessor at just about every opportunity. Whether you're a veteran of the Dirt series and the long-running Colin McRae rally series that preceded it or someone looking far away into off-road racing, Dirt 3 is the game you should be playing. Number 3. Burnout Paradise Burnout Paradise has its share of flaws, but it's also incredibly fun. The change to an open world brought its share of issues, but it also allows for freedom unseen in any recent racing game. Most importantly though, Criterion has once again delivered a racing experience that can be described as control chaos, one where even crashing is immensely rewarding. Number 2. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is one of the most thrilling racing games around. It doesn't matter which side of the law you prefer to play on, the unpredictable nature of these events and the sheer speed at which they are played make this a tough game to put down. Wipeout HD Fury The new tracks are excellent, but it's the game modes that offer the real value for money here. It is no surprise Sony Liverpool was keen to get them into gamers hands in an expansion rather than having to wait until the release of a completely new game. If you like Wipeout HD, Fury is a no brainer, get it now. Master new skills and test your abilities to move through. Hit one barrier and you'll be thrown around like a pin.